Welcome to this Let's Talk Machines tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we take a look at a couple of frequently used metrics located under the Examine menu that are used for a priori cell geometry quality checks. Assessing cell geometry validity is important due to the influence a cell shape can have on solver convergence which may in turn result in additional solution error as a result of poor or incomplete convergence. It is important to note that when using these metrics, one should choose a metric that not only accounts for cell geometry, but also couples with the numerical algorithm being used by a solver. A couple of a priori cell geometry metrics that we tend to use often are the minimum and maximum included angle. Both of these metrics are measures of a cell skewness as represented by its minimum and maximum included angle, respectively, in units of degrees. To use these metrics, simply select the 2D or 3D grid entities in your pointwise project from either the list panel or display window, and then from the examine menu, choose either the minimum included angle or maximum included angle. The examine panel opens with the corresponding function already selected and computed for all of the selected entities. Over in the display window, cells for these grid entities are colored by the relative minimum or maximum included angle. Expanding the histogram frame and enabling the histogram gives additional information as to the number of cells that are above or below a certain angle. If I'm interested in a certain threshold value, then I can modify the range of values in their respective entry fields within the color bar frame. The histogram updates accordingly. I can also quickly identify those cells that are at the extremes by clicking over to the Extrema tab, where information about the minimum, maximum, and average values from a selected metric are provided as well as the location of where these extrema exist. Enabling the Show Maximum or Show Minimum options highlights these cells for me in the display window. If they aren't readily visible, then I can quickly zoom the view of the display window by clicking the respective button. If you like this video, then be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, then drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter using the link in this video's description. Thank you and have a pleasant Tuesday.